you know. <gasps> oh. oh, oops. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and a very warm welcome if you're new. As you can probably tell from the title, today's video is going to be a little bit different. For those of you who don't know, I'm from South Africa, and unfortunately that means that I can't buy or import Mr. Super Clear, which many doll customizers agree is the very best sealant to use for doll face-ups. The first sealant I used made the vinyl go sticky very fast, and more recently the sealant I had been using has been hard to find. Upon further investigation, it seems that the suppliers don't want to import it anymore. Not only that, but with time and perhaps because of the hot weather we have here, my finished dolls have slowly been going more and more shiny. Mini Anna has been kinda shiny from the start, but it's been getting progressively worse and my Adam doll has also started shimmering. Which means that the hunt for the perfect sealant resumes! I looked around for options I could easily buy locally and came across this. Citadel Color Munitorum Varnish. When I googled it, I found a blog post by someone who said they use Citadel almost exclusively for their dolls. They even went as far as to say that it's like MSC but in a bigger can, which sounded promising. I'll link that for you below. Besides being available over here, there's some major pluses to the sealant. For starters, it's massive. If you compare it to Mr. T, the can is more than twice as big. I know I can get about two and a half doll faces done with an 86 milliliter can of Mr. T, and the Citadel one is a whopping 400 mils. That's like... 11 dolls. It also costs around the same as Mr. T, which is a pretty good deal considering how much bigger it is. But, as we all know, the most important part is whether it works or not. So, today's unsuspecting victim is... Unnamed cat girl who used to be part of my mini Me's body. I don't have any specific plans for this head, so she's a perfect candidate to experiment on before I try it out on any of my other dolls. Off to the test lab! I wanted to give this a fighting chance, so I followed the instructions on the back of the can and sprayed two initial coats of Citadel, wearing a vapor mask of course, before attempting the face up. Right off the bat, I noticed that the Citadel is ever so slightly milky. As you can see on the darker pencil here, it's not super noticeable, in fact, it was kind of hard to film. And you really can't see it on the pink of her skin, but it may be something to consider when working on dolls with a darker skin tone. I started with pastels like I always do, and I must say it felt really nice working on the Citadel. The pastels are much more pigmented and they stick really well. They're not as easy to blend though, but that's something you can fix within a few layers. I specifically gave her black lips to see how pigmented it would be. And it's much more just with the pastels than I've been able to manage in the past. Once I was happy with her pastels, I wasted no time in going in with my watercolor pencils. I lined her lips with black, and I'm happy to report that the black pencil was equally pigmented. But I also wanted to try out some of my least pigmented pencils in her eyes. I have a light brown, light blue, and white that barely shows up on other dolls unless you build it up with a few layers first. On this doll, however, I felt like they showed up much quicker, and I was able to draw finer, smoother lines. So, I kept going, building the pigments, adding darker colors, and pushing it as far as I possibly can. I was honestly amazed at how far I could get the face up on just two base layers of the sealant. So I was like, let's try the brows. <laughs> Usually I struggle with eyebrows. 
Often, I can't erase the pastel super well to get sharp lines, and I rarely get very defined individual hairs. On the Citadel, however, it went a lot easier, and I was super happy with how her brows came out. Look at them hairs! Look at them! <laughs> After that, I sprayed her again for the first time, and started on her lashes, which felt just as impressively dainty and smooth. I also sketched in her pupils. I sprayed her again with sealant and tried to get the colors as dark and pigmented as I could. If you look closely at her lips here, you can see some of the milkiness I was talking about before. But on the plus side, I got the whites of her eyes white using only pencils, which is a first for me. I could also draw highlights on her brows and her nose. Eventually, I got her to a point where I felt like she was done. It feels strange to say because I've never felt a doll was done using just pencils before. And I probably could have added more using paint, but I genuinely don't think it's necessary with Citadel if you don't like using paint. So as a last experiment, I added some gloss varnish to her lips to see if it would help take away some of the milkiness I could see there, which it definitely did. And with that, I think she's done, you guys. <laughs> like I said before, I found out about the sealant through a blog post by someone that said it's comparable to MSC. Now, I don't know about that, but I do know that it felt really good to draw on. It gives really great tooth and I felt much more in control than I did while I was using Mr. T. Maybe it was just a good art day, but it's been about a month since I sprayed her and she's still looking just as matte as before, so that's a big plus. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> Here's a list of everything I found using this sealant. All in all, I think this is well worth getting if you can't get MSC, and I'll be switching to using this from now on. In fact, I'm thinking of spraying my Minimi to dull the shine a little bit. So, what do you think? I'm really happy with how she came out considering I didn't even use paint. Of course, what works for one person might not work for the next, and I'm hardly an expert, so I encourage you to experiment for yourself and see what works the best for you. And if you have any thoughts on Citadel, or you know of any other brands that work really well, sound off in the comments down below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say, and maybe it can help somebody else. I'll do my best to reply. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I know this feels like a major saving grace for me! If you liked this video, please consider showing your support by giving it a good old fashioned thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. And if you like what I do here, why not head over to my Instagram too? I post little updates and sneaky previews there all the time. In my next video, I'll be using Citadel for the first time on a proper custom that I'm making for a really exciting collaboration. So if you don't want to miss that when it comes out, boop that subscribe button, stick around, and as always, stay golden! I'll see you next time! Bye! <laughs>